Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Declassy DR1 which was released with the Summertime DLC. Uh, now as you can see from this vehicle it actually looks really really nice man. It looks like it's a step up from the previous open wheel cars that we got. This actually looks really really nice man. Loving the design of it, very sleek, looks very modern. Uh, it is going to cost you 2.9 million dollars almost three million dollars for this beast but it looks cool man and if you're into your racing this is maybe going to be a car that you should pick up but let's get into the customization first so we're going to start with 100 percent body armor then we're going to go to the bodywork so we can change the vents which gives you a little vent at the top of the, of the panel there and also we can change the the same vent to make it look carbon we can move the vents backwards and then we can carbon that as well I wasn't a massive fan of the vents. I think the sleek look of this from stock actually looks really nice and I won't be adding any vents. So I'm gonna stay stock for the bodywork. Then we're gonna to go to the brakes and grab the brace brakes. Oh no, it's not, it's super brakes. My apologies, it is the super brakes you wanna grab for this. Then we're gonna to go to the front wing. So we get the angled fins, which just makes them a little bit bigger. Then we can remove them all together with the lightweight and the championship front wing. And then the circuit attack then the dual angled fins that looks crazy man and then we get the same but with a triple angled fin and then the same again but with quads i think i'm gonna go with the lightweight or should i let's go with a circuit attack front wing actually then we've got the engine we're gonna get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts you can see them just at the top there so we can change them to the aluminium then the titanium and also a carbon version of that i think the titanium looks cool so we're gonna go with that then we've got the livery options obviously we've got to get a livery on this because it is an f1 car and it just look a lot nicer with a livery so so far the liveries actually look okay nothing too crazy though uh, i think the redwood is probably my favorite so far that one actually looks quite awesome then the candy box racer team globe oil oh my days that's nuts making it look like a spitfire actually looks okay but my favorite one was this intensia tobacco so we'll go go with that bad boy then for the mirrors they are massive at the moment so maybe we can make them a little bit more slimline which we can with the lightweight and also the carbon lightweight uh we are going to go with uh we'll go go with the carbon lightweight oh so we get a little fin on the top of the nose which is quite cool so they're basically just primary and carbon versions of each other um, don't know if I like that to be fair yeah because it cuts into the livery as well um, which is a bit weird so I'm gonna stay stocked for the nose fin then we've got the nose panel so we can put vents in the panel which is also a nice addition the geo inlet panel actually looks quite nice primary vented and the carbon vented there's some nice additions there I actually like the carbon vented panel so I'm gonna go with that then we're going to go to the respray primary color. We are going to go a classic color for this because we do have a livery. And to complement the grayish looking livery, I think bronze or gold will actually look the best. I'm torn between the two, but I think gold actually looks better. So we're going to go gold for the primary classic color. For the secondary, we're also going to go classic. Uh, I can't see what this changes at the moment. Oh yeah, okay, it's the on the rear spoiler. Which is which the color is changing. We are just gonna go gold, the same as the primary color with that one. Next, we've got roof fins. Okay, we don't have much of a roof, but it says we can change the roof fins. <laughs> um, so it's this little area at the back of the car there. Um, I think it kind of looks okay as stock. It starts to get a little bit crazy with these ones. Uh, obviously, the clues in the name with the extreme roof wing. So we're gonna just stay stock. So next we've got the spoiler option, so we've got the lightweight, not sure about that one, it looks a little bit funky, such a small spoiler on, the, on a car like this, just don't really work with me. Uh, we've got the attack wing, the rectangular, the lifted circuit, and the lifted box. Um, the lifted circuit was quite cool man. Very similar to the stock spoiler, but it does give you that added traction bonus, so we're going to go with the lifted circuit wing. 
Transmission, we're going to get the super transmission and obviously the turbo tuning. For the wheels, we're going to go wheel type and into the race category because that's all we've got. And these are all locked for some reason. Not sure why that is. I'm in story mode. My story is complete. I'm not sure why these are all locked. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I could always go into my menus mod anyway and, and change them that way. Uh, but I'll just give you a quick look of what we've got to choose from. And uh, it's nothing spectacular. So I'm just going to stay stock for the wheels. And because we don't get a window option on this, that is it my dudes. So as we pull out of LS Customs, here we have the, the Classy DR1 which was released with the Summertime DLC. $2.9 million. I'm just going to say $3 million because that's near enough what it is. And it looks awesome, man. Love the new sleek design on this. Very modern looking. And very fast. Very, very fast. As you can see, literally... Whoa! That's, that's a bit close. A bit um, congested at the moment. But you can see we're hit 100 miles an hour with ease. And you come to expect it with a car like this. It's got to be expected. If it's not hitting 100 miles an hour within a few seconds, there's, there's something wrong. Especially with the price as well that you're paying. But the price you pay, actually, is not too bad when you consider... Um, it's competitors which would be a supercar I think I'd rather have one of these than a supercar because it's a lot more um, interesting than a supercar supercars have become very bland and very boring whereas these open wheel cars are a lot newer and they're a lot more intriguing to me and I think they're a lot more fun to drive especially handle a lot better and they're definitely quicker uh, they just give you next to no protection from from attackers but you know you don't really buy this to drive around ls the you, you just buy it for races mainly it, that's what i'll get from it anyway if i was to buy this in online i'd purchase it for for racing really um but yeah man i mean it's it's what you kind of expect from an f1 open wheel raced car in this game it's quick it's nimble and it actually feels really good. I think it's very good value for money, to be fair. Like I said, comparing it to a supercar or even some of the new sports cars coming into the game, it is a steal because you're getting good performance, good speed, and a very cool-looking car, very unique-looking car in the streets of LS um, for less than $3 million. So, yeah, overly impressed with this. If you're looking for an open-wheels car, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the fastest out of the four of them. Um, there's better channels on YouTube that can tell you that, but um, I'm just here for the basic overview of the car you know basic customization basic road test you know see how it gets on and it feels competent it feels really really good and uh, it actually looks really nice too loving the look of it customizations aren't great you know there's not loads that you can do to it but there's enough to it that makes me happy you don't really really want to do much to these anyway because they are what they are if they start looking any different they wouldn't look like an f1 car at the end of the day would they but you know it's just my opinions i hope you guys did enjoy this one so on that note i am going to leave you there so if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and until next time i'm out adios